Welcome to Savannah Vistas, Runaway Bay Saint, and a place where natural beauty meets innovation. Today, we're embarking on a journey towards a brighter, cleaner future right here in our vibrant community. In this video, we'll show you how our latest solar installation is transforming the way we harness energy. From cutting edge technology to community driven sustainability, join us as we power forward with the sun. To determine how many watts a 10 kilobar, 10,000 watts, lithium battery will draw when charging at 50 amps. You can use the formula for electrical power. Assuming the system is running at a common voltage, let's say 48 volts, which is typical for many battery systems, you would calculate it as follows. So when charging at 50 amps, a decen kilowatt lithium battery would draw approximately 2400 watts from the solar array. Next, since you have a 6600 watt solar array, you can calculate how much of that power is being used to charge the battery. Total solar array output, 6,600 watts. Power used to charge the battery, 2,400 watts. This means that of the 6,600 watts available, the battery is drawing 2,400 watts. The remaining power, let's get a move through, 4,200 watts, could be used for other loads or systems, depending on how the setup is designed. If you have more questions or need further details, Feel free to call Bases Jamaica, 860-169 or 8 What happens when the 10K lithium ion battery reaches the depth of discharge of 20% with the grid connected? When a lithium ion battery reaches a depth of discharge, DOD, of 20%, meaning it has 20% of its full capacity remaining while it's connected to the grid, several things can happen depending on the system design and settings. Battery Management Protocols The Battery Management System, BMS, will monitor the state of charge and may impose limits on further discharge to prevent the battery from going too low, which helps preserve battery health and longevity. Grid Charging Prioritization In grid-tied systems, reaching a lower SOC, like 20%, may trigger the control system to prioritize recharging the battery from the grid, if allowed by your system's configuration, or from any available generation source, such as a solar array, to bring the battery back to a safer charge level. B. Load Management and Integration some systems might shift load priorities to ensure that essential loads remain powered while waiting for the battery to recharge. This means that less critical loads could be curtailed until the battery charge is restored. Energy flow adjustments. When the battery SOC gets low, the inverter or charge controller might adjust the overall energy flow, ensuring that excess energy from the grid or local generation goes into charging the battery rather than sending it back to the grid or directly powering other loads. User alerts and monitoring. Many grid-connected energy systems have monitoring interfaces that alert users when the battery reaches a low SOC. This gives users the opportunity to take action, such as reducing household load or activating a backup charging mode, if desired. The overall impact is that the system is designed to protect the battery by ensuring it doesn't discharge too deeply. 
and when connected to the grid, it has the opportunity to quickly recharge. At Basis Jamaica, we trust innovation and sustainability. Our installation of the 10 kilo Lux Power Inverter paired with a 10 kilo lithium battery is fully operational and ready to power the Savannah Vistas community with clean, reliable energy. Thank you for joining us on this journey towards a brighter future. From all of us at Basis Jamaica, we're proud to light up Savannah Vistas with sustainable energy solutions. Stay connected and keep the power flowing, because here, it truly works.